Friday Night Lights is sponsored by Garland Shelton Auto Group, Sentex Roof Systems, and Optimum. Good evening, Central Texas and Brazos Valley. Welcome into a week one edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Justin Woodard. Man, it feels good to have high school football back, and we're back better than ever. Get ready for a live coverage galore. That's right. We got Nicole Sheeran out at the game of the week between China Spring and Lorena. Ben Peck is down in Huntsville with the Hornets hosting AM Consolidated. Jordan Adams made the trek to Brenham, and then Adriana Alexander will be checking in from Rogers. How does all of that sound? You know where we're going to start, though, with the game of the week. Three state championships between China Spring and Lorena the past two years. Cougars have won every matchup in this series, though, since 2014, except for one. Can the Leopards, man, can they can they come back and, and get one in this series? Well, it's not a great start here. Caden Roberts to his right, picked off by Zane Borland. So that puts the Cougars in great field position already. Two plays later, quarterback Cash McCullum, not about him here, hands it off to Kyle Barton. Boom, 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 plunges into the end zone. First six on the board for your two-time state champion Cougs, 7 nothing. Second quarter, Lorena looking to answer. Roberts this time finds the right guy. Wide open, Brock Cool, the tight end, down the seam, tail lights to the end zone, 7-7. Seven, seven. We got a barn burner out in Lorena. But China Spring, they would answer here. McCollum looking, screen pass alert, Kyle Barton out of the backfield. Got to pick up a few blocks, and he does. Weaving his way through traffic, keeping his feet, are you kidding me? If we had a play of the week, folks, that might be your candidate right off the bat. Whoa, 21 to 7, China Spring. Next possession, Roberts hands it off to Braylon Henry. Bottled up, right? Where is he? Where is he? There he is, going to be shot out of a cannon down the boundary. Foot race to the end zone, and he's got reservations for six. Holy, maybe that should be the play of the night. What a ball game in this game of the week. Last check, though, fourth quarter, China Spring pulled away. 35-13, so it looks like the streak will live on for the Cougars over Lorena. And for more of an update on this ball game, what do you say? Let's go out to Nicole Sheeran. Nicole, what do you got, girl? Our game of the week matchups are nothing shy of madness, and that and more made its way to Lorena tonight as the Leopards hosted China Spring for our week one game of the week. One would score, the other would answer, but at the end of the day, the China Spring Cougars came in here with one job, established their dominance as the reigning back-to-back -back state champions, and well, they did just that tonight. The game literally just ended moments ago. Final score from Leopard Field, 35-13, to and I will be live with the Cougs right here. We got a great trophy presentation for you coming up in Friday night lights back to you Justin you're the best great job can't wait for the trophy presentation let's go to class <laughs> 6a now Brian out of the Brazos Valley opening its season up at Waller this one didn't kick until 8 so you know it's still going on after a slow start from both teams quarterback Boone Turner a new starter this year lets it fly to Terrence Lewis on the go route got him coached down the boundary huge gain setting up the Vikings in the red zone got to turn it into points though right Turner you saw the arm well he's a dual threat Takes the fly sweep motion, gets outside, convoy into the painted area for six points. What a drive that was by Turner and company, 7-0 after the PAT. Second quarter now, there's your new quarterback. He's pretty good, right? Bulldogs looking to score. This is fourth and goal. Incomplete Vikings playing some good defense. Uh, Brian put up over 60 on Waller last year. What do they have tonight? Let's pull up the score. Yeah, low scoring, 7-6 to six in the fourth quarter. Our Jordan Adams at this ball game. So if we have him, uh, let's go out to Mr. Adams live and for a little update here. Go for it, Jordan. What do you got, buddy? Yeah, Justin, 7-6. It's the fourth quarter now. Brian was winning 7-0 heading into halftime, but the Bulldogs have been able have been able to crawl their way back into this one with two field goals in the third quarter. Boone Turner did not get the start tonight, but has impressed. You saw him throw the ball in the air to Terrence Lewis but he also was able to run it in as well. But overall, both offenses kind of struggling in this one, but it is week one, folks, so you can't expect too much as we continue here. Waller with it now, looking to drive and possibly take the lead for the very first time. But reporting live here in Waller ISD, Jordan Adams, News 6. All right, buddy, thank you very much. Let's continue with our highlights now. The Central Texas back here, Belton 
Broncos hosting Rouse first quarter. It's all Broncos. Your quarterback, Eli Mascarinas, shotgun, hands it off to Ryan Camacho into the end zone, plows his way in, 7 nothing. good guys. Later in the first though, let's go to the air. Here's your arm from your quarterback, Mascarinas, looking. Little slip screen out of the outside, nice blocking, and it's sophomore Davion Peters down the boundary, and speed kills to the end zone. Wow, can he go 14 nothing? All Lake Belton, and we're not done. Let's go to the second quarter, threatening again. Moss Greenis handed off to Cameron Hamilton. Oh, stiff arm, get off of me. Whoa, that's a highlight, isn't it? What a night for Lake Belton to start their season. Let's pull up a score from Bronco Country. Yeah, looking good, 34 to 10. We can tell you this game has been suspended, though, because of a light issue out there. So we'll get a score update if they do continue to play. Let's go to another all Central Texas showdown. Chaparral taking on Colleen Bobcats from 582. Kangaroos from 58D1. Clean up 7 up in here. Bobcats trying to answer Joel Seacrest. Just throws it up, but hey, look who's out there. His main guy, Kenneth Johnson, for the first down. But that drive would stall, so Clean going back to work here. Janari Franklin takes the handoff. Look like to the hole. Whoop! Little crease in daylight. Can he bust it all the way? No, ridden down. Just by his shoestrings, but that's a 20-plus yard gain. Same drive, your quarterback, Roderick Norman. Looking, looking. Now I'm going to take off. Got to get a first down. Keep the drive alive, and he does. Steps out of bounds, get a penalty for that, too. Late hit out of bounds, so they're really on the doorstep. But it's fourth and goal from the 12. Norman, I mean a dart to Raymond Howard in between two defenders and hauls it in. 14 nothing Kangaroos at the half, and they cruise in the second half by a score of 33 to six. Pretty good start to the high school football season, right? Okay, you don't want to go anywhere though because we have to take our first break. After this, however, we go down to the Brazos Valley for some class 5A action. Keep it here. Hey, do y'all have the Brenham highlight? Do y'all have Brenham? Did y'all did y'all get the Brenham game? I can't hear you. The I can't hear you. Can you? You might have to push our live backs just a couple minutes. Kill, I'm trying hey, to get a Kill coach. Ben. Kill Ben. Kill him. Kill him. You got Brenham? Okay, just float it. Just float it. All right. So we're gonna just we're just gonna keep going through the highlights. No, we're just going to keep going as normal. We're just, we're, hey, we're going to go straight from Consol to Brenham, okay?
Welcome back into Friday Night Lights. Between sharing a district together and now facing off to start the season, a and Consolidated and Huntsville have been in some really good matchups over the past five years. Riding a two game winning streak in the series, the Tigers have won three of the five meetings. To Huntsville to go to see if the Hornets could sting back in this one. Head coaching debut for that man, Brandon Schmidt, with the Tigers. Short field here for the Tigers. Will Hargett, your quarterback, to Peyton Bjork on the fade route. Oh, thing of beauty. 7 nothing. Can saw those two are going to be dynamite this year. Score stays like that for a while. Here comes Huntsville, though. Austin Taylor in between traffic threats. The needle to Savion Conte making guys miss. Still on his feet. Dragon would be tacklers with him for a huge gain. Same drive. Treshawn Brown off the edge. Gets inside, 7-6, Consol at the half. I'm telling you, this has been a darn good series to watch over the years. Hargett here, read option, got him. Woo, pull that ball and fake that, everybody. Into the end zone, looking good for Consol. Last check, 23-12 in the fourth. Let's keep it going. Brenham, who shares a district with Huntsville, opening up at home against Oak Ridge. Cubs lost by 10 last year. Warhawks, by the way, from Class 6A. So, yeah, Brenham playing up here from 582 all the way up to Oak Ridge. Cubs Stadium we go. You're looking at your quarterback. It's new because Ryland Wooten's gone, but he's got his guy out there in the flat for a first down. Nice catch by the Cubs. See if they can keep this drive going. The ball again. Looking at the gun. Well, same play, a little short stuff out there. Oh, maybe trickeration. Cut back across the grain. Ooh, that's dicey. Yeah, low scoring affair out in Brenham. 13-7, though, Cubs in the lead. Rudder had a tall task this evening in their opener with Willis making the trip to Bryan. Wildcats led by Florida committee quarterback DJ Lagway. And uh, you want to know how good Lagway is? Well, just look at this ball. Time. I mean, a missile right over the middle, wide open. That helps out too, doesn't it? Jalen Mickens, say good night. Tail lights to the end zone. Two-point conversion, no good, but it is the Wildcats and Lagway up 6-0 in the blink of an eye. Rangers down two scores here, but they would respond. A little flea flicker action. Jaquise Martin going to get it back, chunks it deep, and when Coach Ezar draws it up like that, it's going to work. Jaden Erskine, wide open. I mean, smooth open. Forget about it. 12-7 now, so rudder hanging, but lagway just too dang good. Faking the fly sweep action. Just flick of the wrist. Post right alert. Got him, coach. Debron Hampton into the end zone. 18-7. Willis put up a 50 spot. That was in the first half. They're all over rudder. 52-21. All Central Texas showdown alert here. Robinson 4-AD2 playing up. In competition, taking on University from 582. It is University here. Cade Bynum out to Joseph Foster. Little bubble screen, ridden out of bounds, and that drive would stall. So let's go to Robinson now. Aiden Stanford, time. I mean, all kinds of time. Finds a mod Scotland diving grab over the middle, so you can move the chains again. That same duo, a little quicker decision here. Stanford out to Ahmad, dodging defenders. Whoa, look at that! Look at the little man with a little. A little muscle there, and then we're going to pay it off this time. Photon fake that a little bit, but what about the dart at the end? That's all we got to see. Stanford, Austin Marshall, extra point good. Rockets, University battling back in that one, 21 to 14. All right, time for another break here on FNL. After this, we go back out to Nicole for our trophy presentation. Hey, are we good? He's not leaving. Hey. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. Coaches drove right here. He's just talking. He's not leaving, but uh, we're good. That's on our end. Sorry that they were like doing the post game huddle. Do you, are we gonna go to Nicole and then me? Okay. Okay. Just keep me, keep me in the loop. That's crazy. I just want to make sure I get in, get out type deal. A minute? Okay, we got a minute to do this. Yep.
Welcome back into Friday Night Lights. Earlier in the show, we saw, saw China Spring roll to another victory over Lorena. And you know what that means? It's trophy presentation time. And we also have our very special Nicole Sharon out there. Nicole, let's have a party. The China Spring Cougs end last year with the state title ring. And well, they start this season with our week one game of the week trophy 35-13 final. Congrats, guys. Yay! Yay! So come here. So, I mean, first game, second year at the helm for you. What did you see from your guys out there tonight? I was really, really proud of the way they bounced back. You know, we put ourselves in a bad situation early on in the game, and uh, we had to discuss how understand the blunders that take place in a game, and for us to uh, respond was really, really impactful. And quarterback Cash McCollum under center here, a guy's face you've seen around. So, Cash, it's your last season with the Cougs, but first game this year. How would you see what you see from your guys out there tonight? Uh, I think we had a little bit of nerves in the first quarter, but once we got kind of settled in and comfortable and played our brand of football, then we kind of just drove down the field, defense made stops, and we played a pretty good game. And you lost some studs last year, but it seems like y'all are meshing really well so far. What are you kind of hoping for your next game? Uh, just to win. That's all we can really do all week is just practice for the win at the end of the week. And winning seems to be something the Cougs are pretty used to. You guys have Melissa next Friday at the home of the Cougs. But uh, I think they've got one last thing before we go. That give back is crazy. <laughs> that give back is crazy. All right, back to you, Justin. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Great stuff out there. Trying to spring a winner big time again. All right, more highlights now. Madisonville from Class 4A Division 2 hosting Die Ball out of East Texas. Special teams to start off from Madisonville. Punt return to Keithon Owens. We only show this to you for one reason, right? Because uh, it's something great. How about Owens busting it all the way to the end zone down the sideline? 7 0 Stangs making noise. Second quarter now. Lumberjack's going to hack away at that deficit. Zachariah Mitchell. Wow. Bulldozes his way into the end zone. Keeps those legs turning, didn't he? That was very nice. But then we go to Ty Williams to Lorenzo Johnson. Wide open. The Texas Tech commit hauls it in there. Madisonville gets the win over Die Ball at home. What a way to start their season. 24-14. Back to Central Texas here. Good one. Academy visiting Rogers. Eagles won last year by six. Bumblebees QB Casey Morass. Hard play action to Vincent Williams. Go route. DD got caught looking at the backfield. That's never a good thing. Foot race to the end zone. And you know who's going to win it? Mr. Williams. What a play. How about the first play of the game to start the Bumblebee season like that? Wow. Second quarter at Moore Academy here. Kavanaugh nearly around the end, and then he gets loose. Man, when you get the edge like that, and you got a block. That's all you need. Down the boundary he goes. Academy all over Rodgers by a score of 48 to 20. Or Adriana Alexander's out there live. Adriana, how about a game recap for us? Ben, revenge was served tonight as Rodgers didn't get the win like they did last year by nine points. They actually won, like, had 20 points and then Academy had 48 points and that had a lot to do with Academy's defense. Now, they did get um, a lot of touchdowns in this game and they wanted to get even more, but of course the score went out. Once again, that score was 20 to 48 and we are happy to see that and continue to cover this. Now, Rodgers did tell me that they wanted to go ahead and get a little bit better when they cover these games and they do these games because uh, their offense couldn't get that jolt that they needed in order to get the win. So they hope to do that in the future. But for now, live in Rogers, Adriana Alexander, 6 News.